Welcome to this Biaba cooking show. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jean Pascal, area manager at Biaba, and a lucky father to an 11 month baby girl. Biaba is a French brand of baby product specialized in baby feeding solutions dedicated to making parents' life easier every step of the way. That means from newborn to toddler and to indulge the whole family with healthy treats. We are delighted to be in the presence of Esther Sham, aka Chef Tata today. Hi, JP. Thanks for introducing me. Pleasure. Chef Tata has gained a solid culinary baggage in the most prestigious kitchen of Hong Kong and even France. But Esther is also the mother of three boys and a passionate about nutrition. She will teach us today how to prepare homemade delights for baby and the entire family. She has designed three special recipes that we will go through today. So, we have a very insightful program, whether you have a baby or not, whether you are experienced with feeding them or a bit panicked with the idea of starting solids, or maybe you're just a health seeker looking for inspiration of healthy eating and drinking habits or even a consumption savvy, simply concerned with choosing between homemade and industrial foods or concerned about food wastage. We have a lot of relevant tips and advice for you today. So, Chef Tata has designed these three recipes. One will be with Baby Cook Neo. We will prepare an elaborated recipe of baby food puree. Two, with the new generation Baby Cook Neo, we will prepare a nutritious food, uh, sorry, fruit smoothie for the entire family. And three, with our latest product, Dry and Snack, we will unveil the secrets to healthy snacking for toddlers and anyone in the family that has a sweet tooth. So thank you so much, Chef Tata. Yes. Please teach us the way to healthy feeding for the whole family. My pleasure. So for the first recipe, it's uh, suitable for a baby who starts with a solid uh, or even a bit older, it's fine too. So we, this is uh, a Chinese yam with millet and chicken and corn uh, porridge. Very okay. elaborated. So are Very we going to uh, directly start now? Let's do that. Yes. yes. So this is uh, the portioned millet, uh, uh, the portioned yam here. So if you want to have uh, pre-cut, you have to soak it in water to prevent it from oxidizing. Mm. But this is uh, completely raw. Just skin it and portion it okay. to the according to the recipe. Let me help you. Because uh, it's uh, it's yeah, very yeah. very airtight. Yeah, airtight exactly. <laughs> so we put it on one side. The beauty of this is we can do uh, two steaming simultaneously, right? That is a baby cook yeah. duo. So baby cook in its own is a all-in-one steam cooker and blender. Okay. So we're gonna use that baby cook duo and later on that baby cook neo and tell you the differences. Okay. Here Duo, like Esther just said, has the specificity of two bowls able to steam cook at the same time two sides. All right, just add it here. So there's this inner steam basket in here. That is exactly correct, right. steam basket. Here you have that spatula to not get burned after it's hot, which helps you to remove and place it back in. There we go. And there's the chicken meat, uh, I would suggest you to slightly cut it into a smaller size just for easy steaming because mm -hmm. we always don't want to overcook ingredients so uh, it's better that you cut a tightly uh, slightly smaller and then uh, for steaming it's through overly and then we mm -hmm. can blend it afterwards and let me also mention that steam cooking helps to avoid overcooking uh, if you compare steam cooking versus boiling you have a lot of advantages especially for baby mm -hmm. food and nutrition to maintain the nutrition through the cooking juice Right. So we steam these two first and later on we're going to add in the broccoli because we want, I want to have a tiny bit of texture of the broccoli remaining. So I don't want to steam it at the same uh, t at one go because yes. it takes longer time to steam the yam and the chicken. That's smart, so we can smart. close it first and then... So here we have poured some water 
uh, pure drinking water to make sure that you can have the steam cooking functioning and then let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, uh, we can do it at the same time. We with, can. With we the, go ahead. With there the, we go. We here can. is the millet. So millet is an extremely uh, good choice of carbohydrates. For millet or any rice or pasta, this one is a pasta right. rice cooker, which is different from the steam basket we saw before, which is prepared to keep the rice, the pasta or the millet. So this is pre-cooked for 20 minutes first, because the total cooking time is 30 minutes. But I want to have a bit of the chicken broth uh, flavor in there, because mm. if I keep on boiling the uh, millet with the chicken broth, it will evaporate too quickly. So this mm. is pre-boiled with water first. Wow, and the millet you said yes. before is a grain. Yes. So it's a good alternative for some uh, Carbohydrates. Yes, and it's extremely low GI, mm -hmm. which means it, uh, it burns the sh sugar level, it releases in a much slower rate, yes. which won't give you a sugar high and crush. So it's perfect yes. for lunchtime for the baby, yes. right? Yes, keeps you right. filled. It's extremely uh, high in fiber as well. Interesting. Yes. And then we can add in the. And that's yeah. chicken yes. broth? This is chicken broth chicken broth which we could obtain from steam cooking the chicken you would have some cooking juice at the end of the process which very smart one you can keep for later reusing yes. and cooking other ingredients with a certain taste of chicken and this definitely is, nicer than water and this is a uh, dry corn to add a bit of flavor dry corn dry corn but if you cannot oh, get a, your hand yes my smell. Whoa. So you, you, if you cannot get your hands on some dry corn, you can use fresh corn as well. Okay. That's to add some kind of sweetness, sweetness. to the preparation. Yes. Which will help to have the baby accepting it. Yes. <laughs> because yam it's, uh, quite, doesn't really have much of a taste. Mm. It's just more like for the health uh, yeah, benefits of it. And from what, the what are these kind of benefits of the yam? Because I'm not so yes. familiar. So the yam, in, from the Chinese medicine angle, it's a very good... Uh, Huh? It's an ingredient that can help you um, release the, the heatness okay. in your body. Okay. The heatness which cause lack of appetite and bad quality sleep. Which these are two things that you don't want to happen to your mm. baby, right? Yes, not yes. eating and not sleeping. Oh yes, <laughs> and, <laughs> I and agree also with very that. good for the stomach. It says it's like protects your stomach, your like, internal in, internal organs and intestinal health. Yes, good, good it's health. not just for a baby. Even for adults, yes. we can add a bit of chan uh, yam into our rice cooker when you cook the rice, and it's uh, yeah. You don't even know it's there. It's just something that's a very good element, uh, extra element in the food that you're eating. So healthy yes. then. That's great. Yes. I'll, I'll start it with my baby girl. Yes, <laughs> learn some Chinese medicine. Okay, so we will uh, let it start the cooking cook. of the yes. other side. Yes. And then, uh, so your baby is 11 months. Yes. So what do you usually feed her? Oh, we go for a lot of uh, vegetable purees uh -huh. and we make sure to alternate some meat. Sometimes we have also started meat and fish and uh -huh. also egg now. Uh -huh. Egg so, yolks. Uh, uh, white also? Full egg for omelette for dinner. Uh, and oh, yes, because you're French, omelette. Omelette, <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> and for lunchtime with the vegetable puree, we usually uh, add some piece of meat, which can be beef or mm -hmm. chicken for what mm -hmm. we are starting now. And the fish is more for dinner time. I see. Yes. Fish, yes. we go for halibut mm -hmm. uh, or also sole and salmon. Exactly. Yes. 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 So I'm more still towards the Chinese. Well, now we have the fresh ocean grouper mm -hmm. and I uh, give him salmon too this is because of the omega-3 and it's very uh, flavorful. Yes, okay. And I've, uh, we feed a lot of pork too. But uh, every meal I make sure we have a portion of meat Mm -hmm. green veggie mm -hmm. and uh, carbohydrates. All right. Yes, and even for babies, for carbohydrates, I have a, a, like different things like um, millet, you know, uh, even like a 
rice or yes. brown rice, or uh, we have baby noodle. Yes, yes, uh, baby that too. Yeah, baby pasta, yes. baby macaroni. The little stars. Yeah, yes, they love it. Star they shape, love yes. it. Yes, just for, make, yeah, make it fun for them. And for the energy for the rest of the day, also I wanted to mention that the good point on the carbohydrate side. Uh, we have started some lentils. Mm. And oh, yes, does yes. she like it? She loves it. Really? I've never tried that. Lentils and uh, also what other ingredients for that uh, dose of energy for the rest of the day? Uh, well, of course, I mean the sweet potato. Yes. Uh, that's probably more on the side of yam. I'm not sure for the, for, the for nutritious aspect. It's, uh, it's different. Because uh. For, uh, for the yam, it, gets, it doesn't work on my baby. It gives him a lot of gas. Okay. So he doesn't sleep well after. For the sweet potato. Yes, yeah, sw uh, sorry, sweet potato. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. But this Chinese yam is uh, it's completely different. And that's good for the gut health. That's yes. a great advice for today. I'll yes. keep that one definitely. Yes. So yeah, we still have to. I. I but I introduce every new element one by one separately, mm, so mm. that I can be able to identify what he likes, Perfect. what he doesn't, and what is not good for him. So yes. I don't mix everything, so you kind of like, oh, I don't know what's not working. And, and yeah. that's exactly, yeah. we are totally inside the essence of what we do at Beaba for mm -hmm. the baby cook. Baby cook is to prepare homemade mm -hmm. fresh food for babies, mm -hmm. also the rest of the family, but with babies, the specificity is that you will control the intake mm -hmm. and you will be able to detect yes. any likes and dislikes yes. because you know exactly what you put inside. Yes. You don't take it from the shelf of the supermarket yes. where sometimes you Pre don't Pre exactly yep. know everything that's in certain proportion or not. Exactly. Uh, yes. The salty aspect yes. or sweet and sugary aspect. And also the origin control. of the ingredients too. Exactly. Yes, exactly. this is... Uh, especially for meat, I'm more uh, conscious. Yes, and so likes and dislikes but also mm -hmm. Allergies. Yes. It's a great yes. way to control mm -hmm. that nutrition and make sure you discover as early as possible uh, any allergies of your yes. baby. Right. So uh, I think it's about almost about time that we can add the broccoli as oh, well. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. So we'll stop the cooking cycle. Open it. Hop. Yep. I'll help you. With it. Yes. Go ahead. This is broccoli. So here, broccoli. Yep. Of course, broccoli. We know we with babies, definitely your favorite. Even my two grown boys, they still love broccoli. Yes. I and don't know why, but, but always people say, well, oh, broccoli is nasty, right? And the Americans. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, I grew up in the States, but always people come and like demonize the broccoli. It's like, oh, scary <laughs> broccoli. But then people. Uh, my baby right. loves it. And actually, Asian the good thing babies, is yeah. you can make it. I mean, I'm, I'm all talking about diversification of food mm -hmm. here, and that's what you've been dealing with. Uh, diversification, even when you only look at the ingredient of broccoli, mm -hmm. you have all the different stages in terms of texture. You start by fully grinding it, blending it mm -hmm. to a puree. Mm -hmm. But then, after that, they love to start the chunk. And for yeah. you, it's reassuring because the chunk of the broccoli on the brunch, yeah. they can easily chew it yes. with that small little yes. uh, pieces on it, which is yes. easy to chew. They won't choke on it. So mm -hmm. that's a perfect way to evolve yes. and follow the, bro the progressive stages of introduction to solid food. Broccoli is that perfect ingredient. Yes. It's a superfood, right? It is. Super, <laughs> super food. Yeah, and then yeah, we, we don't want to ruin the, the nutrient in there. So steaming is definitely the, the best way to cook it instead of cooking it on a stove top just mm. cook it and uh, yeah make sure it's everything it's it's kind of hard to wash broccoli too yes, so it's, yes. it's very yeah you kill everything <laughs> and we kill no bad elements so in there yeah the reason for adding it later which is a very uh, smart way to use the baby cook also because you don't have to supervise it. No supervision needed for that cooking cycle. It will stop at the end of the water inside the water tank. Mm -hmm. But, so that's depending on how much water you put in, you define the length, the time, the duration of that steam cooking cycle. But here we stopped it just to add that broccoli mm -hmm. in the middle of the process, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And that's to also to ensure some, a certain texture of the broccoli. Mm -hmm. If you steam cook it less, it's gonna give Better Still, crunch. exactly, yeah. that little crunch, mm -hmm. uh, which is for a baby of what age? My baby is, uh, uh, he's 15 months. So I started doing this yeah. like after he passed 12 months when Great. he had more teeth. Great. Yeah. And another superfood I just mentioned, superfood. Have you studied quinoa? Oh, I love quinoa, yeah. Yeah, that's yes. a great point. I, uh, we have started that and we can mix it with several veggies. Uh, that's perfect also to puree. Mm -hmm. You would think that maybe quinoa puree, well, it, but 
she, my baby girl loves it. Oh. And quinoa is a great healthy food, uh -huh. also known as superfood, I think. Have you tried couscous? Yes, semola. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yes. Well, not the uh, Northern Africa type yeah. couscous <laughs> full meal, but yeah. the semola itself we have. Yes. And that's uh, also kind of an alternative. I mean, it's great to discover yes. millet and the ways of preparing millet today because yes. We will probably add that to the, you know, the possibilities yes. of... Uh, they are not exactly the same, that's a pure grain, right? Yes. Pure grain meaning it's not processed. It's not processed, That's yes. a very big discovery then. Yes. Great, great. So it's, uh, it actually opens up... It's just, it, when you buy it, it's just like a one, uh, one granule. Mm -hmm. And then when you cook it, it starts to uh, pop open. Mm -hmm. So it's just when you mm -hmm. see just now, it's like more... Like, you don't even see it as like a little grain. Yes, and mm -hmm. that being quinoa or millet, uh, or any kind of semola, when we prepare a baby food puree, in the end you'll have some, it's not even a crunchy aspect, but it's just, it will be a little more dense, mm -hmm. a little bit denser, good for the baby to really um, appreciate in, yes. on the palate, on, on the tongue, inside on the, the yeah, mouth. The, sense, uh, the feel, the sensation, to let exactly. them uh, have a more, more stimulant to, mm -hmm. for them to learn different te texture yes. and to enjoy food too. It's and not just like one, flat exactly, puree. Exactly, exactly. And for yes. you to know that the baby will have that touch, that, that taste, mm -hmm. but without any risk of choking. Exactly. It's not a real chunk. It's mm -hmm. just slight little pieces, yes. right? Great. So I think I'm doing a facial here. <laughs> 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 yeah, so it's very good that it stops automatically when mm -hmm. uh, the water is finished, so we don't have to pay mm -hmm. like full attention, which exactly. we know as a... Um, uh, like a household with baby, there are just endless things to do. Yes. So uh, it's very good that we can uh, do go and do other things no and come back with yes, no yes. like burn. You may be alone at home. You can yes. still use it. You don't yes. have to be too at home. You can yes. start the cooking. Yes. Go and play or take care uh -huh. of your baby. And meanwhile, yes. it's still cooking and will stop when it needs to stop. So yes. Oh, I forgot to mention for the for the millet because it takes a long time to cook. What my usual practice is, I. I cook a bigger lot, and then I put them into like smaller compartments, like, all right. like this. I put it in, yes, and then I freeze it. You freeze it, yes. all right. That's so these are like in tray. individual uh, portions. Yes. So each time I only need to take out one, but I don't need to do that twenty minutes of boiling yes. every time. Yes, exactly. So yes. that's perfect for busy mm -hmm. parents. Well, you have to prepare <laughs> during the weekend. You do real quantities over the weekend. That's also one of the advantages of that baby cook duo mm -hmm. because you prepare more quantities and what you don't use for that specific day, you keep it, you store it, you freeze it and you can use it for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. So you're gaining time, yes. definitely. And also another clear function and, and key function of the baby cook is that, well, you do have that frozen portion from the silicone multi-portion tray mm -hmm you can put it inside to defrost oh, yeah. and to reheat. Yes. So that's perfect uh, arguments also for having a duo. While you prepare one part, you can just defrost the millet, I think, right? I think it's So let's done. go and open it. Yep. Hop. Nice. What are we going to do now? We don't get burned with that spatula. What do we do with that cooking juice? Are we going to use we, it let's fully? Let's use it. All of it? Yes. Well, you know what? Or just to make sure we control properly, we'll Would you mind holding this a second for me? Thank you. We'll keep it there and we'll add only what we want of it. And okay. that might be all of it, depending on the texture we are mm -hmm. basically getting. So let's put the ingredients inside the bowl. Yes. There we go. Then, of course, we'll definitely add some from the start, maybe half to see. Mm -hmm. And Other side ready? Yes. Okay. But we're not going to blend that. We're just going to blend this. So we start puree, blending yeah, here? Yeah, puree that one. Okay. And because this is already in puree form. Perfect. So what we do here for the blending, we add that little mixing lead to make sure we don't splash. And then, should we start? Yes. You tell me how long? Okay. Do we need more juice? It's fine. It's, it's per perfect. Yes? It's All so right. quick. <laughs> I don't even need to scoop down the sides because the blades I heard is very, it's specially designed. So yes, that yes, everything yeah. can be 
blended, grinded. You have a dual level of mm -hmm. that blade, uh, mm -hmm. so it uh, it blends from, uh, it's actually mm -hmm. splashing the ingredient and blends from two different levels so that you don't mm -hmm. have chunks that remain at the bottom. Okay, so on this side we just can surf it directly, yeah? Yes. Spatula, up to you. So depending on how much of each of these two separate preparation, I guess we can reach certain taste, certain texture, mm -hmm. and depending on the likes of the baby, we define what's the proportion of each, right? Yes. Can make a little ring. <laughs> <laughs> Here I see the chef. <laughs> okay. Bon appetit. So that's a nice aspect. Merci beaucoup. Hop. Let's start that. So here he is to feed the baby. Right, so that's a... And you're the baby now? Good text. Oh, I'm going to be the baby, I guess. <laughs> Meow. Yes, that's very interesting texture of that millet. I want to yes. try that with my baby girl because you can you can chew it. Yes, you can chew yes. it, but you won't choke. Yeah, that's exactly. Great, <laughs> that's very very nice. And the smell, the sweetness of the corn, uh, really helps to uplift mm -hmm. the whole preparation. Yes, the whole taste of it. Yes. Mm. I can see a superfood here, mm -hmm. giving energy for the entire mm -hmm. afternoon when she goes yes. to play. <laughs> that's great. Thank you so much. Mmm, tasty. Okay. Yes. One Good. successful recipe. Oh, let's let's get that. Up. Yes. All right. Let's move to the next one. Done with baby cook duo. So then we're gonna switch to use the baby cook new generation baby cook called Neo. Neo has a glass bowl and oh, a stainless steel steam basket, which for the preparation that uh, Chef Tata has designed for us, we are not gonna use right now because we're gonna focus on the blending function only to prepare a nutritious fruit smoothie for the entire family, a real fruit blast, right? Yes. And I'm going to already start showing that, which is why we have decided to use the Baby Cook Neo. Here inside you have a made in France blade, high quality blade in stainless steel by Sabatier Diamant. So a French uh, uh, professional blade and knife brand and manufacturer, uh, which on top of the blade quality, we also have these two bumps here. Two bumps on the design of that glass bowl which helps create a cyclone effect and bring all the food following that cyclone effect will all get smashed, you will not have mm -hmm. lumps. It's a perfect, perfect blender. And function. extremely easy to clean also, right? Of course, definitely. <laughs> I won't remove it right now, but maybe yes. at the end of the preparation. So this so. is a, a sweet, more like a smoothie drink. Uh, more like a, a, uh, like a uh, scooping, more like a smoothie for kids and then we will add sago for the adults to okay. have extra fun. Okay, so, so we're going to make a dual preparation, yes. one that can be uh, used for the baby uh, as a mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. food snack and also a healthy drink for adults, for the mm -hmm. whole family, so you can make that with the same preparation. Yes. So uh, this is a frozen banana, uh, frozen blueberries, mm -hmm. because it's easier to blend and also it gives it, uh, gives this a uh, colder temperature. Mm. And then there's a uh, banana, just fresh banana. I love these jars. These are yeah, silicone, silicone, yeah, silicone yes, portion amazing. with a screw lead, yes. airtight. And then we have uh, the plain yogurt, 
you can cut the fat by buying low fat or fat free ones up to you is your choice and then there's almond butter the reason I chose mm. almond butter is because almond butter it's uh, first it's very yummy and then it has actually a lot of fiber and doesn't have a lot of the, the bad fat in there. Mm. That so peanut would have yes, the bad yes, fat, exactly. but almond does not. Yes, and uh, cashew too. Cashew does not have as much fiber. Okay, okay. But the, you, would have, you would have thought, oh, they're just nuts, right? But actually they have, have a big difference in nutritional fats. Mm, mm. And this is agave syrup. Agave syrup. Yes, so it's a natural syrup, also low, much lower in GI, which is actually suitable for diabetic Mm -hmm. So compared, yeah. for example, to honey, you would yes. rather choose agave syrup, yes. right? Yes. Understood. Well, that's going to make up with a breakfast that I skipped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Already looks yummy before blending. You can see that this baby cook neo is a, it's a multi-use. Huh? You can make mm -hmm. drinks, you can make soup, you can make baby food, uh, but it's also very intuitive. So, so you, uh, we should cover this before we blend correct. Yes. to prevent the... You got it. Splashing. Oh. Oops, sorry. That's fine. There we go. Close, and then... Yes, you can you, do yes. the blending. We go for the blending just yeah, by pressing that. And you can button. claim that you cooked it. You made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the color. It said, yeah. It's just Italian that stock. easy. Yep. I think... Is it? Let's check. You'll tell me. Ooh, oh, yes. What a nice one. Mm. Very nice consistency. Yes, yes. So we can already serve this for the baby. Ah, that's one. Yes, okay. That's a denser preparation we have, and we choose the ingredients that are suitable for the baby. And when we are willing to make it a healthy drink for the rest of the family, we will add the sago, right? Yes, okay. and some ice as well to give oh, yes. the, uh, a, t a cooler temperature. Mm, a real smoothie. Yeah, and okay. um, also thinner. And I wish my baby girl was here. That's by far her favorite. <laughs> and the color is such a girly yes, color. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. Shall okay. we? Shall we now or shall we later? You should try the adult one. Oh, this I'm one. a bit impatient. Okay, you're, okay. You're still thinking okay. you're the baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then now for the adult one, I'm going to add in some more ice. Yes. And um, just uh, not those really big ones. These yeah, are like the, yeah. the, the circle round industrial yeah. ice would be probably too much. It's better to use homemade smaller size ice yeah. cubes that we can crush yeah. and not damage that blade, of course. Yes. And it's colder, so we don't really serve like ice cold things to our babies. Do we so do it without? No, without, without. Oh, okay. yeah, that's okay. just to add we towards the end when we serve the it. There we go. Yeah, I think it's all smashed, right? Yeah. Mm. You have, yeah, it's much thinner now. Yes. It's that more like a drink now. Really a drink. Yes. Oh yeah, that's a big change. Yes. And the sago, you just put it on yeah. top. Ah, okay. You can mix it later, mm. right before you taste it. Look at that. Look at that. So yummy. Yes. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> shall we? Yep. Shall you. Ah, You're the one tasting. Thank you very much. <laughs> you shall. So I'll mix, I'll mix that sago, right? I shall? Mm -hmm. Yep. Sago was a great discovery for me in Asia. Uh, we barely ever use it oh, in yeah. Europe. Yes. And that makes up great desserts. It's, idea. It right? like goes uh, bubble tea. You put the boba. The boba yeah. is uh, boba. It's, yeah. yeah, it's sweet. Wow, it's starch. Nice. But this is pure. Mm. Sago oh. is like close to no calorie. It's just a texture. Mm. I feel recharged already. That's a great yeah. dose of energy. 
great food taste. Yes. Amazing. Mm. So blueberries are very high mm. in anti uh, antioxidants and baby always love it. And banana gives you energy and uh, yogurt mm -hmm. with the uh, probiotics and uh, got and almond for the taste and fiber. So this is like all in one in here. Yeah, super <laughs> nutritious, very tasty and mm -hmm. very healthy. That's yes. what we always want yes. for an afternoon exactly. snack. <laughs> We're greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Oh, that's okay. a super nice idea. And here, like you saw, we didn't use the steam function, the steam cooking function, but of course, just like the baby cook duo, we can here with the other button and pouring the water here in that water tank. Very nice idea. Okay. And so for the third, we're gonna use our latest Biaba product, mm -hmm. dry and snack, yes. which gives a very smart idea. First, to prepare healthy snacks mm -hmm. for toddlers. Mm -hmm. Second, also to avoid any kind of food wastage yes. because this is a food dehydrator. And what I won't teach here in Asia, what is the dehydration of food because it's super common, mm -hmm. right? But here, yep. when you have a compact, such a compact product, you can use it at home mm -hmm. to just dry any remainder from your preparation mm -hmm. and not get yes, rid of it. Yes. And yeah, what I love about this machine is very compact, very, and as a window, I can see what the, pro, uh, what the state my food is. And you yeah. can express your creativity yes. because there are really endless possibilities. You can make, of course, some healthy crispy mm -hmm. snacks. You can make some yogurt with it even. Yes, you yogurt can, drops. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yes. You can even um, prepare some decoration for the baking. Mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes. On top or, of your... And, or our cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's correct. Uh, After yeah. the babies are asleep. <laughs> For a nice gin tonic, it's true that you would probably dry some herbs, yes, aromatic herbs. Exactly. And, yes, exactly, exactly. That's great. Yes. So there are really plenty of possibilities to use a food dehydrator. That one has a specificity on top of being compact to, be, uh, to have that 3D ventilation system, mm -hmm. which is horizontal, which means you have four different trays and because it's horizontal, the flow of the air me makes it even for the drying. So that is compared to a vertical flow, which would actually uh, have less efficiency on the bottom or the upper layer if it's vertical. This one is not. This one is horizontal, which is definitely on the best efficiency. Why? I didn't know. I learned, I'm learning so much. I just only know what tastes good or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have the idea. Yeah. And, the and with, whether it's going to make a mess in my kitchen, it's, it, it, it's, if it's efficient for me or not. That's yeah. all I care about. Mm. Wow. Okay, so today we're going to do a little uh, fun recipe with apple. Instead of just dehydrating mm. apple chips, I get a I put a little bit more of uh, taste and ingredients and texture onto it. We're gonna add uh, honey, cinnamon, mm. and uh, these crackers from your home. Uh, from your home. Speculoos. Speculoos, yes, mm. my favorite. Oh, so we are gonna nice. crush these to add onto the apple and to uh, dehydrate it so that it actually mix mm. into. Um, uh, full like snack. Uh, yeah, it's a healthy snack, mm -hmm. but also all natural when you use that yes. apple and, and yes. just yes. dry the apple And slices. no mess at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's another so this, interesting uh, point. You, uh, we have a mandolin to uh, shave the thin mm -hmm. slices of mm -hmm. apple. With the skin, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nice. So we don't need the, the ends. Well, yeah, I'll take it. it. Okay. okay, thank you. So we, uh, you don't even need to this, uh, remove the stem. It just naturally falls out when you cut it so thin. So this is how we can easily get it done. So just like this. You see the, the seeds just fall out and have this like cute and star shape in the middle. How do you define the, the, the thickness? The thickness of the slice, yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, like close okay. to a chip, a uh, slightly thicker. One millimeter, right? Yeah. One, two I think, millimeter. yeah, one, one to two. Yeah, okay, yes. very good. So, this is just to demonstrate how to slice the apple because it takes a uh, longer time to dehydrate. 
I have already done it in here. Mm. So yeah, dehydration is a process mm -hmm. that you would usually focus on overnight. Yes, overnight. Uh, yeah. Definitely, because it's a slow process. Of course, mm -hmm. you're removing slowly, slowly, very slowly yes. all the, 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 the moisture, yes. the water from the ingredients. Yes. yes. And yeah, not cooking it. Exactly, we are not without cooking, cooking. it. Very yes. good point, yes. So, so here so we are really focusing yep. on targeting toddlers, right? Because yes. instead of buying industrial snacks, we make these snacks at home mm -hmm. to give that uh, perfect uh, uh, snack time for mm -hmm. toddlers. Uh, let's say two, three, five years old, seven years old, we'll enjoy it. And even the whole family, right? Yeah. I love these. And what a nice feeling to homemade snack instead of just buying, you know, a bag of industrial ones. So yes, see, so this has been dehydrating uh, for like two to three hours now. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of recipes says you should put lemon juice on it to prevent it from turning brown. Yes. But I find actually it, if you cut it right before you put it into the machine, okay. it doesn't really turn brown, see? Okay, and is there any um, process to give at the, at the middle of the drying process or just the whole time you let it go? I just put it in and then it just turns this. Right, I don't even need good. to, uh, yeah, take it out to do some extra procedures. But this is halfly, this is just halfway dehydrated mm -hmm. because we need to add the uh, the flavor, the other ingredients, honey and oh, okay. and uh, speckle crackers. Uh, All the toppings, right? The toppings, uh, exactly. <laughs> I, I was kind of searching the word for it <laughs> because why I don't add these at the uh, big very beginning mm -hmm. it's because this is a drying process right and honey is a very thick consistency ingredient it's just like painting a layer of lacquer on mm -hmm. top of apple mm -hmm. which prevents it from drying yes so okay. i want Clear. right so it makes sense now right? so i don't want the apple to not Absorbs being dry, yeah, oh, yeah, or be, being or dried. Yes, no, yes, okay. Just covered by the honey and won't get dry on one side. Mm -hmm. okay. So you end up with a soggy chip. That's after how many, how many hours? Uh, around three hours. Three hours. Oh, yes. Wow. And then, then, then we can paint the honey. Oh, do you want to do the painting or do you want to do the macho crushing? You tell me. <laughs> I'll smash. I think I'll yes. smash. So, yes. You can show, okay, just yeah. uh, so crush we have the speculoos. Reminds me of my childhood. Mm. Who doesn't like speculoos? I know, right? <laughs> my boys can eat like six pieces or like eight at a go. Just like powder or some small chunks? How, like, these, yeah, these are fine. Okay. Yeah, just continue. Right. Here we are. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Okay, I'll show you that. Oh. The section, so the, so here yeah. it is. Nice. Yeah. Maybe of uh, the bigger lumps. You can Smaller even, eh? Okay, yeah. I really powder. Okay. That's about it. I hope we are Wonderful. done. Yes. Yep, yep. Then, what you do next, okay, you can give me the spoon. Put, okay, you can put it down. Oops. So we have the, the one side with the honey on, just uh -huh. one side, okay? And then you tap, 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 tap. See? Mm -hmm. So it nice. it catches. So you, you use the, the honey as yes. a glue. Yes. Well, that's smart. And we can lay it on the racks. You can continue with it. Oh yes. That that's a bit aggressive. <laughs> Just I, I, I light have, I have <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I get the point. Like that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A bit more. Yep. Just a bit more. A bit more on the sides. Yes. Mm, it looks very yummy already. Oh. 
Right. Nice. Can you roll it? Mm hmm. And I love this multi layer Rex. I can actually dehydrate one full apple at a go. Mm. The full trays, that yeah. leaves you quite a lot of, of drying space. Yes. yes, indeed. And overnight, you saved many ingredients that eventually you would have used only part of it mm -hmm. for a certain preparation, and mm -hmm. the other one you can just dry. You can actually dry meat in here too. For, Definitely, yeah, yes. For, for adults or Beef jerky. my very hairy friends, my dogs. <laughs> ah, yes, okay. That's a, I, yes. Heard, I heard that was a, yeah. a, a very useful tool uh, to, to give some yes. snack to pets as well. That's fine. Yes. Now we're going to sprinkle some cinnamon on it. So the, uh, don't worry, this, uh, the cinnamon is going to stick onto the honey also. Yes. We don't need Again, a lot of that. And we're going to stick it back in. Oops. I help you get upper. Yeah. You got it? Okay, I got it. Good. Right. So another like three to four hours in there. All right. Yeah. Then you have your own or yourself a nice apple snack. And I think we squeeze Just the like little this. Bit. That looked like that. In four or five yes. hours, you said? Yes. <laughs> yes, time really flies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. That looks that amazing. Nice. Chris, see that you don't lose any of the color. You mm. don't lose uh, the, the size. It doesn't like shrink. Or, so first yeah. were three hours and then yeah. f around five hours. Yes. Okay, that's a good, mm -hmm. good process. And then you can do the whole apple, yes. giving you apple a lot of yes. snacking moments for yes. the toddler, right? Yes. Nice. These are very easy to eat and light and easy to chew, fun with a little bit of crunch from the, from the speculoos. Can I? Yes. Mm. Look at that. Very nice way of using that honey to glue yes. on top of it yes. cinnamon and speculoos. Mmm, so yummy. Yes. And I wish all kids could eat this healthy snack, <laughs> right? <laughs> Instead of sometimes just industrial easy way. Yeah. That's actually also very easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. We prepare that quite fast. Just yes. wait for the machine to yes. act and process it. Yes. Nice. And you can keep this in airtight containers. Mm. It's, uh, it keeps quite well. Mm. The taste is awesome, it's amazing, and the texture also with that little crunch mm -hmm. of the speculoos. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Lovely idea. And Thank you. that's actually not just for toddlers. I'm, I'm telling toddlers, but I would do that for myself. Yes, it is. <laughs> right? right? And when you dry, you can keep for a long time as yes. well. And it's so natural. I love the way it's so natural. With the, there's no what, butter, mm. oil in there, yes, right? Yes. No refined sugar. No oil, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Very yes. good. Wow, what a nice yeah, idea. Be, Thank you, you can very get very, much. very creative with this machine. So I hope everybody's learning a lot today. We have plenty full of ideas because your selection was great, giving a lot of insights. Thank you. Uh, very good tips and advice, but we could also do a lot, a lot more things with mm -hmm. this machine. So up to you to foster your creativity in the kitchen. I know yes. that that's one of your key concepts to foster creativity in yes. the cooking process, in the yes. tasting. And yes. that's what a lovely moment we had. Likewise. Thank you very much, Chef Thank Tata. Thank you.